Welcome to another episode of the HHC Sports Weekly. I'm Justin Soakland. The Hoosier Hills Conference football teams got started in the state tournament series this week, and we'll look at the success that some of our league teams had in the opening round. Also, the volleyball teams started sectional play, and Floyd Central and Columbus East both won their sectionals, and we'll take a look at those highlights. Also, in cross country, the Sima State was conducted at Brown County, and some Hoosier Hills Conference teams and individuals advanced to the state tournament. So that's a lot to look at, and let's get started. For the first football game, Madison defeated Franklin County 16-14. The Cubs posted a historic victory in the first round of Class 4A Sectional 23. Their sixth win of the year clinched the first winning season for the program since 1992. They had to pull out a trick play to beat the Wildcats. Hunter Sego scored on a fake field goal with 3-0-6 left, but to put the Cubs over the top. Madison scored all of its points in the second half. Kyle Tucker ran for 143 yards and one touchdown. Siegel also kicked a 26-yard field goal in addition to scoring the winning TD. Madison advanced to the second round of the playoffs for the first time since 2008. Evansville Wrights eliminated Seymour 59 to 35. Wrights ranked number four in 4A, scored 49 unanswered points in the first half to overpower the Owls and advance to the second round in sectional 24. Seymour finished the year 2 and 8. Center Grove eliminated New Albany 56 to 6 in Class 6A sectional 8. The Trojans blasted to a 49 to nothing lead at halftime, and the second half was played with a running clock. Center Grove's Max Norris scored three touchdowns and the Bulldogs didn't get on the board until Zach Donan threw a touchdown pass as time expired. New Albany finished 1-9. Columbus North defeated Jeffersonville 30-20. The Bulldogs have ended last year's sectional loss to the Red Devils with sophomores playing key roles. Running back Mitchell Burton, a free safety until the final game of the regular season, had 243 yards and three touchdowns. Quarterback Tristan Perry threw for 187 yards, and North built a 16-0 lead to hold off Jeffersonville's late surge. Cam Northern tied a school record with 51 pass attempts, and he totaled 350 yards passing with three touchdowns. But the Devils couldn't come all the way back and finish the season eight and two. Problems that we dropped balls, we made mistakes that beat us, and they have a good team, you know. So when you're playing good teams and quality opponents, you can't make any mistakes, and you can't drop passes, and 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 then you can't let them just, you know, pound you like they did. You know, defense. Columbus East dismantled South Dearborn 82-13. The Olympians started their Class 4A state title defense with another destructive performance. East didn't score in the fourth quarter and didn't have to. Markel Jones ran for 308 yards and six touchdowns on only 12 carries. K.J. McCarter completed only three passes and all of them went for touchdowns. East coach Bob Gaddis said the Olympians aren't defending their state title, they are pursuing another, and they certainly took an impressive first step in that direction. In volleyball sectionals, number seven Floyd Central won the Class 4A title at BNL, conquering Jeffersonville, New Albany, and Seymour en route to their second straight championship. The Highlanders, with Division I recruits Remy Bowman and Gwen Jones, had too much firepower. They improved to 29 and 7 and will visit Castle in the one game regional. Columbus East won the sectional on its home court, beating Columbus North, East Central, and Bloomington South. The Olympians got pushed to the fifth game in, a fi in the final, but pre prevailed in a thriller. 25 to 18, 32 to 30, 22 25, 16 25, and 15 11. Madison lost to Silver Creek in the 3A sectional final at Charlestown. Humphrey had a good game, but Jones and Jones was the key. Jones, Jones was in there, boom, 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 and out. And she said, "My God, I'm not even in the game, coach." I said, "Well, you keep getting those." In fact, the last time she was in there, it was three, three swings, three kills, got us out of it. Those were. I don't know what we were down. Were we down 2018, I think? Something yes. pretty close to yeah. that. And that's when she went off. Uh, they got her the ball three times in a row. That's why she's going to Auburn, you know? She did a good job coming back, fighting it. You faced that a lot, teams getting really sky high for you. Yes. And you kind of, have you learned to weather that storm a little bit and just play your consistent game? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we're a successful team. 
we do have that huge target on our back on our back so yes teams do do that but we've learned especially throughout the season to manage that and not become so emotional in the cross-country semi-state, Floyd Central's girls team finished third in the 20-team field at Brown County and advanced to the state finals in Terre Haute. Seymour also qualified for the state meet by finishing fifth as a team. The top six moved on. In the boys' race, Jennings County's Kyle Lewis and Floyd Central's Alec Heights qualified among the top ten individuals who were not members of advancing teams. You guys ran today. About what you expected? We thought we could run a little better today. Um, you know, in cross country, there's good days, and we know that there's good days and not so good days. And and uh, as a team, we maybe didn't run as good, you know, we this week as we have in the past, you know, the past few weeks. So um, had some girls run really well though. So um, we'll take that. And, and we weren't really focused on this week as hard as, as in years past. We knew we would advance. This uh, week, the football pairings in Class 5A in Sectional 15, Bloomington South 8 and 1 will visit BNL, which is 4 and 5. South is ranked number two and thumped the Stars 52 to nothing in week one. In sectional 14, Jennings County, which is one and eight, will visit Floyd Central, which is five and four. The Highlanders won 27 to nothing at Jennings County on October 10th. And in class 4A, sectional 23, number one Columbus East, 10 and 0, will visit Madison, which is six and four. East blasted the Cubs 62 to seven on October the 3rd. The cross country state finals will be conducted at Terre Haute on Saturday. The girls race will open at 1 p.m. and the boys will follow at 1 45. Goals when, uh, when you get up there? Top 10. If we can be 10th place we're going to be really happy. You know we know that in a meet like that that it can be it can be you know 10 to 10 to 15 to whatever so we'll try to you know we'll try to get up there and do our very best like we do every week. So. Who ran well for you? Today? In volleyball regionals on Tuesday, Floyd Central will visit Castle and Ron Colley will go to Columbus East. Those winners will advance to the semi-states at Seymour on Saturday. What does this section mean for you? <laughs> I mean, it means so much. You know, the first year getting beat, that was, that was really hard. And I just have so many goals before I go off to college. And this back-to-back -back championship and having three back-to-back -back tournament wins is just so awesome. It's such a confidence boost. Yeah. That concludes another episode of the HAC Sports Weekly. Join us again next week as we continue to track the success of the league teams in the football, cross country, and volleyball tournaments. And don't forget to join us and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Until then, thanks for watching. <laughs>